Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name's John McDonald, and today I'm going to talk you through how to make a base floral tribute. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a mum tribute, and you can buy these frames pre-made. So they basically come from a company called Oasis. Uh, you, other ones are available, but this is the one that we've got today. So they come wrapped like this, and what you find at the back is you've got two feet. So this is the, the legs that will go on the end, and basically this is a complete unit, so there's nothing you need to do with this. We're going to soak the frame. So I've got one that I've already soaked. So just looking at the legs here, we can add these legs like this, or we can actually add them the other way and you'll get a different height. So you can either have it low or you can put them like this and you can have the item sit high. It's up to you which you do. Obviously if it lies low, it's more stable for transport. Uh, but if it sits high, it's more visible if it's going to be high up. So as I say, what I've done is I've soaked the frame already and what we need to do is we need to add our ribbon. Now, on one of our previous videos, we showed you how to pleat the ribbon and this is basically done just with a stapler, so it's very, very easy. So essentially, we've pre pre-pleated our ribbon and now we can just add this into our item. So. What we're going to use to secure this are what we call German pins. So what I'm looking to do is basically at the end take a full pleat that just sits at the end and then we're using this pin really just to secure our ribbon into the frame. So essentially you're going to sit the edge of the ribbon onto the edge of the pre-made frame and we're just going to work our way around that. Okay, so what we've done is we've put our ribbon right round the edge and we've made sure that it's all secure. Now it doesn't matter if you've got it upside down or you've got it the right way up, because it's pleated it's the same both ways. And what I want to do on this is do a little detail with some roses. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some little rose heads and just put them deep into the actual foam. So basically cut them short, I use a knife and we're going to work it like this. Now, with a, an item like this, you can do placements. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to leave some spaces. So I would leave a space here, I would leave a space here, and I would leave a space here. Now you can mount um, another piece of floral foam on there if you want to have a little bit more foam to work with. Personally, it depends on the value that you're doing or how you want to do it, but I... Um, I think you can, we can do it without, we don't need to worry about it. So essentially we're going to do this kind of detail onto each letter and then we're going to use double croissants really just to base the rest of it. So let's get going. Okay, so we've got our uh, tribute based and now we've based it with the roses as a kind of focal points and the croissants really just to fill in. So we've got really quite a lot of interest going there. And what we need to do now is work on our placement. So this is going to be an area that's a little bit more special. So what we want to do is, because this is very white, is just add a little bit of foliage to create that kind of mini arrangement. So I've got some salal and we're just going to use a few little bits in each. So we don't need a lot of anything, but what we want is just to split this down and get our little leaves. 
because really if we just put white flowers in with the other white flowers we're not going to see them so this is going to give us a little bit of a definition with our highlighted placement and our main flowers for here are going to be freesia and tulips so a little bit of ruscus And with the Ruscus, we can split that down into little sections. Now, I'm trying not to cover my foam so that I've still got a clear access to put my flowers in. So our flowers are, firstly, these tulips. Now, because these are quite fleshy, we don't want this full of... Um, full of greenery that we're not going to be able to access our foam. So I want to put these in and make sure that they're quite well secure into our foam. And we're really wanting to just do kind of like little posy style placements at these points. So if you feel that something's gone in and it's not secure then and that's your time to um, reset it and do something different. So our tulips go in quite easy. Now, a lot of people find that tulips will grow. So if this is for the next day, there's a couple of ways you can deal with that. You can put it somewhere dark, that'll stop them growing. Uh, or you can put it so that they do grow, but grow towards the direction that you want. So you need to just think about where your window is or um, where the light source is that you've actually placed your flowers. So we're going to add a little bit of gypsophila as well. And this is really just to create a little bit of texture. And again, a little bit of definition. And with the gypsophila, we can break that down into little bits. And actually that white is quite nice as a contrast to these creamy flowers. So really we've got white roses, we've got white tulips, but they're not a true white. So actually this is whiter and is giving us a little bit of that white. So the other thing that we need to put in here is our freesia. So I'm looking at this beautiful freesia and looking for the best way to show it. So remember actually when we show our arrangement, people will be looking down on it. So actually you want definitely for the tops of each of these to look really, really good. And the freesia actually has a lovely shape for just filling in and for curving round on those little arrangements. So this is a good place for, if you wanted to put a card onto the arrangement, the cards can go where the placements are. So even bring a stem or two just out a little so that it's not totally flat. So this is quite pretty. I'm thinking just add a little bit of steel grass now on 
another of our videos we linked the units but what we're going to do is just do a few loops here just to create a little bit of a difference. And it's just little details that make it a little bit more special. one as well. So the steel grass is perfect for adding that little detail. And just to finish, I want to use a little bit of asparagus fern just to create a little bit of texture to overlay on our roses. So here we have our finished tribute. So what we need to do just to finish off is to add our feet. Now, as I say, it depends how you do it. If you do it that way, they're gonna be lower. And actually that's the way I quite prefer because then I know it's totally stable. So you just really lift it up, line up the holes. Make sure they're secure. And it's as simple as that. So essentially we have a beautiful mum tribute based in double, double croissants with roses as a feature and with placements of freesia and tulips. So something really, really special. And I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to keep up to date with all our videos, then click here to subscribe. And thank you for watching.